Ready? Three, two, one, go! Today we have uh, dropped 10 cars from 30 meters from the crane. We do that because the rescue team or emergency service needed to develop new methods to release people inside the car with a severe crash. We are several different rescue services that uh, cooperate to find the best practice in uh, tools and uh, methods and tactics regarding uh, extrication in car accidents. Today we are uh, testing our methods and really going about it in a, such a scientific way as we can. We try to measure everything, what pressure we use, how much force we have to use, how much time different methods take, all of those things. The goal is for us to be better at our job and to get access to people in crashed cars in less time. Normally we crash cars in the laboratory and this was the first time we dropped them from a crane. We see extreme deformation after the test. And we do this to give the rescue team a real challenge to work with. There are some different scenarios where we do extrications in modern cars. For instance, when a car hits a larger vehicle, or uh, when we uh, have accidents in very high speed, or when we have uh, situations where a car is hit where there are no crumpled zones, for instance, like the T-bone accident. In these kind of situations, the people in the car are usually in a critical situation. We usually talk about the golden hour, and that means we have to have the patient in the hospital at the latest one hour after the accident has happened. A problem we have as a fire brigade is that when we do train normally, we usually get our cars from scrapyards. And uh, these cars are most often 10, 15, maybe 20 years old. And they work very differently from the cars today uh, regarding safety and uh, hardness in the steel. And, and how they work when we try to open them up. So therefore it's extremely important for us to work with uh, new cars. Our work here will uh, end up in a report and that's not just for us who's working here today. It will hopefully be used all over Sweden and uh, possibly internationally too. The reason that we work close together is because we have the same goal and that's to have safe roads.